Hello, hello, and welcome to the Healthy Life with Kimmy podcast, your go-to source for all things related to healthy living and well-being. I am your host, Kimmy Nunnally, and I'm so thrilled that you are on this journey with me. I am on a journey to a healthier and happier and more vibrant life. Also, please check out my YouTube channel, Healthy Life with Kimmy, where we have discussions, interviews, and practical tips. We also have the free email list so you never miss when I go live. I hope you enjoy this episode and welcome again where fit is the new it. Hello, hello, and welcome to Healthy Life with Kimmy. Today, guys, I am talking about my hair. Um, Really quick, for those of you who may not know or have not watched my channel before, um, my name is Kimmy and I am on a healthy journey. I am not going to be doing it perfectly, but I do want to change the way I look. I want to change my numbers as far as my blood pressure, as far as my cholesterol is concerned. I just want to be healthy. So um, again, it's a a judgment-free zone. I want you to feel this is a safe space for you. I'll be talking about um, my Weight Watchers journey, which is the method that I'm using to try to better my life. I'm using Weight Watchers. I'm doing Weight Watchers. Um, And also, I'll be talking about things that happened maybe when I was younger that may attribute to some of my weight. It's just a very frank channel about my personal journey. I'm not saying anything to encourage you one way or the other what you need to do. This is strictly about Kimmy. That's why it's called Healthy Life with Kimmy. Today, I want to talk a little bit about my hair. So, my hair was actually so dry. It was so brittle. It was just basically looking like straw. I was so disappointed in my hair. I didn't know what to do. I was at a point when I really wanted to just cut it off. But I don't think that would have solved anything. So, one day I got to thinking. I was like, your hair is just like a plant. If you don't give the plant water, nutrients, it's going to die. I had to think about what am I putting in my body that's healthy for my hair? And I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't eating any type of fruits, really. I was just kind of eating fast food. I had a couple of deaths in the family recently. I lost my mom. I lost my father-in-law. My husband's been stressed out. I've been stressed out. We just been through a lot. No one would ever really know all the things that we've been through. We make it look easy. I lost my dad in 2020. I lost my sister in 2019. And I'm not the only person that has been through these traumatic losses. COVID um, has taken a toll on everyone. For those who don't know, if you're watching this video later, COVID was a pandemic that affected every single person in the world. It's a worldwide disease. And it wasn't easy. I didn't lose any of my family members to COVID. They all had other health issues. But it still was equally traumatic. And it was during the time of COVID. So all that being said, the last few months have been very hard. The last few months, the last few years. And again, people see us, we smile, we laugh. But a lot of times we are internally, we are suffering. We are suffering. I'll be very honest with you. There have been days when I feel like, I don't want to get out the bed, but I've been able to, I pray it helps me to have calmness. I have, you know, um, things that provide me with a sense of hope, um, a measure of peace. I think about who my family was and all that kind of stuff helped me get through the day. Cause my mother always said if she was a different kind of person, I probably would not be able to talk to you guys or anybody else. But my mom was the kind of person we got to get it done. We're going to cry a little bit very little but life gotta go on so i'm doing that i'm doing that i'm trying to do that so anyway all that brings me to my hair journey so needless to say i haven't really been taking care of myself the way i need to i just started doing weight watchers prior to that though i had a conversation with my mother-in-law and she was talking about the benefits of oranges just how it had helped her and how she liked them so i started eating oranges and as i was eating the oranges I noticed that my hair actually started blossoming. My skin started looking better. My hair started looking 
better. It wasn't looking so dry. And I was like, wow, my digestive tract was better. This is all prior to Weight Watchers. So this is not a Weight Watchers video today. But I just wanted to let you know earlier that that's the journey that I'm on now. This is just a video about me and my hair and how nutrients are so important for your hair. So a lot of times what you put in your body is going, not a lot of times, what we put in our body, you are what you eat is so true. So I started eating bananas more often. My blood pressure is actually very good. I haven't had a blood pressure problem in about six years. Um, but I eat a lot of, um, not a lot of, but I'm starting to incorporate even more bananas. I have been eating them for like the last few months for the potassium. I do apple cider vinegar. So my blood pressure has actually been good, but I really want to focus on the need to have healthy stuff in your body and how that will help you overall. You may wondering, may be wondering why is your hair so dry or why is your skin looking a certain way? What are we putting in our bodies? So it really all does go together, you know, and I wasn't doing anything for my body. I wasn't doing anything healthy. I'm surprised my numbers and stuff wasn't way out of control and like really bad because I wasn't doing anything healthy for myself. We've been eating out for months, months because we just been ripping and running either to a hospital, planning uh, memorials. I'm just helping other family members to deal with the losses because when somebody you lose somebody in the family. It's not just your family member that's affected. The whole family is affected. You know, you got your mothers, you got the fathers, you got the sons, you got the daughters, you got the grandkids. Every piece of that family unit is affected by a loss. And you probably aren't taking care of yourself. Most people can't. Because like I said, you're so busy running around trying to plan stuff, organize hospitals, this, that, that, boom. Vending machines. I mean, God, it's amazing that we ain't have heart attacks our own selves. Because... We, quite frankly, we're not taking care of ourselves, but I digress. So all that being said, though, once I started incorporating bananas, oranges, grapes, strawberries, uh, spinach, I try to eat a little bit more spinach, all of those things along with having more water, which, because I said, I refer to my hair like a plant, um, has caused it to start looking a little bit better. It started growing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what my hair and my skin looks a little bit clearer um, quite frankly, too, I'm so excited about that. I cannot wait to see what happens as I continue to do Weight Watchers incorporating and making better choices all the way around how it's going to continue to affect my hair. Some of my hair issues could be um, perimenopausal or menopausal. It could be some of that because, you know, as you just start getting um, older, things start happening. So some of it could be that, but I really could see a difference when I started incorporating more fruits and veggies. So the more and more I get accustomed to that being part of my new lifestyle, doing Weight Watchers or whatever plan that um, little pieces I start trying to incorporate or whatever, I think it's going to do even better. So just for you today, I just wanted to let you know, start making small choices. Maybe if you're really not a big fruit person, pick one fruit that you can add. If it's bananas, maybe one banana a day. If it's oranges. And let me tell y'all something about the orange really quick. It's so funny because you can drink orange juice, right? It has more sugar and all that. I don't know that it's better or worse for you. I'm not going to have that debate. Um, as I always say, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not a dietitian or any of that. But I will tell you this. When I have my little orange every day and I actually cut it in fours and I actually peel it, I actually enjoy that experience. And I know it sounds crazy, y'all, but I, I look forward to the whole act of, of of peeling the orange and enjoying it that way. That way I get the fiber with it as well as the juice, as well as the sweet. I get all of it. And it's so funny because I had a terrible, terrible allergy to citrus is why I hadn't been eating oranges. I hadn't ate oranges in years. I mean, it's been a long time. Um, lemons, lime, stuff like that. I have a terrible citrus allergies. I mean, they're really bad. So I hadn't eaten the orange forever. So I just started eating them after talking to my mother-in-law again. And I like the experience of cutting it and actually sitting there peeling it while I'm watching my favorite TV show. So I usually have my orange the same time every day. And that's what I was talking about in another video, making things simple for you, having a routine. So that's my little thing. I usually watch Shark Tank or, um... What's my undercover boss are my shows? They're old, but I just like watching them. 
but I sit there with my little orange and I peel it and I to become one with the orange and just have a whole little experience with it. And it takes time to, to peel it versus just drinking it. And again, you have the fiber factor, which helps with digestion. So I'm just making small changes and I feel better. My hair look better. It does. So I'm excited about it. I hope it continues to, to thrive. And if it grows a little bit, I won't be upset. But I just really want it to be healthy. I'm not overly concerned with the aesthetics of things and how it looks. I just want it to be healthy. I want my hair healthy. I want my body healthy. I want my numbers to reflect health. Okay, well, this is Healthy Life with Kimmy. Until next time, I wish you much success in your journey also. Bye. We thank you again for listening to today's episode of Healthy Life with Kimmy's podcast. We invite you also to join us over on our YouTube channel. Again, Healthy Life with Kimmy. And don't forget to sign up for free emails where you again will receive tips, tricks, and always be notified when we are going live. Well, thank you again, and we wish you much success. Don't forget, fit is the new it.